Hey guys, Butch Hartman here. Welcome to Speech Bubble, my amazing podcast. With me this week is Mr. Jerry Trainer. Jerry, roll the theme music. So, okay, so you auditioned for Tough Puppy. We do Tough Puppy for like how many years? Well, Four it was years? very, it was very fun auditioning for Tough, especially when you when you came in, because then it was like, oh, this is going to be a blast, right? Like. And then doing the show was a blast because the cast was hilarious. Hysterical. We're all there. And the episodes the were hysterical too. They, I think so. And I think they only got better over time. Yeah. Like Well, I haven't well, I haven't seen something that weird since I left my home planet. Town, I said town. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff We had the amazing Jeff Bennett, the amazing Darren Norris, <sighs> and the amazing Gray Delisle uh, as our as our main characters. Then we had Matt Taylor, Maddie Taylor, as Snaptrap. Uh, Snaptrap, that's yeah, right. Exactly. Hey everybody, it's me, Snaptrap. Which is not one part, of the funniest vo- voiceover that he, which is not part pants fell backwards. Yeah, and you called him fart pants. We had one Captain more, Purple. That's right. Yes. Do you have a Do you have a comment, Doctor Purple? Doctor Purple. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! It's Special Agent Puppy sporting a rough and tumble grunge look. I like the car. I learn a lot in the car. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no, kids! Oh boy, puppets! <laughs> Deadly <laughs> puppy. I like when you switch brains with Kitty. You guys switched brains, and you were like, you were in Kitty's body, but doing Dudley's voice. Yes, I'm Kitty Catswell. Oh, my God. It's me, Kitty Catswell. Oh, it's so funny. It's where you guys switch brains, and you leave a note for Kitty. You say, dear Kitty, I switched Brian's with you. (laughs) Basically, Dudley Puppy was a complete moron. Yeah, but that's another thing that is interesting about doing a cartoon is, like, when you're doing a live action thing, you kind of live with an episode for, like, a week. Five days, yeah, like yeah. you're constantly doing. So it's like it's very easy to remember. We were doing like two episodes, like moving, moving, moving. Yeah, we sure were. To the point where it's like, I don't remember they, and they get recorded so fast. Like you're, I don't yeah, I remember all the great you rec- lines. You record them in two hours, and then you really walk away from it until you see it on TV, and yeah. you even get to watch it on TV. By the yeah. way, you can see Tough Puppy episodes on iTunes. You can get them all on iTunes. That's right, uh, which and you some, should. Because which is some kind of a, a, it's a. I think Nickelodeon did not give it its due. I agree. Personally, we're am not, I allowed to say that? You are allowed to say that. We're not. Well, we're not going to like bad mouth. I'm not Nickelodeon. bashing Nickelodeon. They're, yeah. It's a. It's a great channel. I just think maybe they they didn't give certain every, every, things their chance. I agree. Everybody in Hollywood works for a network or a TV station yeah. or a movie and studio. And often things get canceled before their time. Right, and we're not bad, but it's just it's just the nature of the business. It is kind of soul crushing when your show doesn't get to move on. I just did, I did not just I did a pilot a couple years ago. It was. Hilarious! It was for TBS. Conan O'Brien produced it. Right. It was fantastic. Great actors in it. It did not get picked up. Another show in its place got picked up. Mm-hmm. In my opinion, mm-hmm. the other show was not a good show. Mm-hmm. It was not funny to me. Uh, it had very talented people in it. I'm sure talented writers, but right. it, it did not hit. It did get canceled very quickly. Wow. Out of the blue, I was like, I, I literally woke up one day and I was like, uh, you know, our room is blue. You said that. That's right. right. You said out of the blue. So I'm just bringing it back. That to means the room. I'm getting out of this room. <laughs> ASAP. I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, I never got a chance to see the pilot that we did. And I would love to out of the blue, it, a DVD gets sent to me. No way. I just have, the, they just sent me the you pilot. You should have said a million dollars. Like, like that would have shown I know. up too. Why I did you say that? <laughs> this envelope. And I was like, what is this? Who sent this? It was crazy. Uh, and I was like, I'm going to watch this. I bet it's going to be horrible. Because if it didn't get picked up, that other show did, yeah. this is going to be bad. I watch it. It's great. Hysterical. It is fantastic. It's oh. a fantastic <laughs> show oh my God. that should absolutely be on television. Yep. But because of politics and I tell who knows you. what. And everybody, I, I do. We, we try and drop a few little uh. um, inspirational uh, sort of um, um, things in this podcast that other people, because people want to know about Hollywood and stuff out yeah. there. If you have a show or an idea, yeah. definitely pursue it. Definitely get it going. Yeah. It might get picked up, and hopefully it will. But normally, there's a lot of politics that go on, like you were saying. Were, the, that show that got picked up, that could have been the that could have been the head of the studio's brother that sold it. That's right. And he had to buy it because it was his brother's. It has nothing to do with your talent. Yeah. It has nothing to do with you as a person. Right. It just has everything to do with timing and maybe what's going on in the studio that day. And and you have the the, the learning experience is learning to compartmentalize that frustration. Yeah. I learned. Very early on, I, I, you know, there's a few. Sometimes you audition and you're like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes you audition and you're like, oh, I nailed that. That's mine. Yeah. Early on, I auditioned for something. I was still pretty green, but I auditioned for something. Killed it. It was like a movie of the week. Right. 
Uh, I even remember what it was called, but I'm not going to say. But uh, you can tell us what it was called. What was it, it called? It was called the Extreme Team. Okay. And it was like I'm writing a, that down. It was like it was like uh, like the A Team, but with like, ex, like even sexy, even sexier and, people. Like, Right. Exactly. That's what I thought. But I was like, you know, I was yeah. always playing, like auditioning for like the tech nerd and stuff like that at the time. And I, and I did that well and whatever, but I nailed it and like kept auditioning, tested, did all this stuff. Everyone knew it was like, this is going to you. Like the producers love you. The writers love you. My agents are like, this is going to be yours. I'm like, I know this is going to be mine. Right, Nobody's right. going to do this as good as me right now. Right. And then they're like, Bad news. Um, they have an overall deal, or uh, they have a holding deal with yeah, yeah. another actor who's prominent, yep. and they're just offering it to him. Unbelievable. And it was one of those new phrases where it was like, you know, I had not gotten things before, right. but now I'm not getting something for this new. What is this? What is a holding? What's deal? What's a holding deal? Yeah, what you're does just that mean? Making up rules now? Like, <laughs> yeah, how, yeah. Why am I not getting? Where's my holding deal? Exactly. Like, why do? Who gets those? Yep. And it Jace, was so, bring in the holding deal. Bring, bring in the, in, it's, in the beep, beep, beep. It's in the guac. It With was so ball. frustrating to to like not get something, and then they just offer it to them, and then they don't make it because it's not as good. Yeah, yeah. It's not what they thought it was yeah, going to yeah. be. I know. And it's just like, and I, again, we're we're again want to encourage people out there: do not cease going after what you're going after. Yeah. But these are some of the realities. Because the cool thing is. Even though those experiences might happen with you, mm -hmm. might all oh, like tough puppy. You do three seasons and it gets canceled mm -hmm. or whatever, you can still get the show in the first place. Like with tough puppy did three seasons. It's that's there. Right. It's out that's there. That's true. And but it would have been cool if we did ten, of course. But at least we got three. And sometimes, I mean, I used to audition as an actor as well. And why I gave it up is because it was just so frustrating. And mm -hmm. I, I, it's even more frustrating trying to create your own television show. But once you do it and, and you can get over that mountain, it's really rewarding and pleasing. And you and you. And, and you can make it happen. So, But these it's, frustrating things do happen sometimes. Well, they happen a, a lot. And my dad calls it the rejection. He's, he says, I'm in the rejection business because long ago I was like, stop asking me about the audition. I'll tell you when I book it. Yeah. Like, that will be the time when we talk about How what cool I'm doing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. But I'm not going to call you and say, I got an audition. I didn't get it. I yeah. got an I didn't get it. Yeah. But to your point, my advice to actors that are always like, well, what's your advice to actors? It's, per, it's all perseverance. Mm -hmm. It's honestly, I think it's just staying power. We've talked about if, that if a million times here. If you are able to yep. deal with the rejection mm -hmm. and not take it personally and yep. just being like, and do a good job consistently, they will remember you. You yep. will get back. Yep. And over time, mm -hmm. people when will I, quit and disappear and yeah. you will be there. It's almost like a pyramid. It's like exactly. there's a ton of people at the bottom. And as the years go by, the pyramid gets to go to and the when point. The, you go to the when point. the right thing is there yep. at the right time and mm -hmm. you're prepared yep. and you're still there, still doing it, yep. you will get it. And there are times I've told people on this show many times, I've, we've talked about perseverance a ton here. And and you don't want to ever miss that window of opportunity. Because mm -hmm. like, if you go, like, ah, I'm not going to go to this audition that day. or I'm not, if, I hadn't gone to, if I hadn't gone to Pitch Fairly Odd Parents that day, it would have been a whole different opportunity. My opportunity might have been gone. I almost day. didn't go to Crazy Steve. Which led to everything. You mean from Drake and Josh? Let's talk about that for a second. Well, I almost didn't go. I went the first time, and then the second time, I was like, really? They just want me to do that thing again? Like, it's we, always, we auditioned for the first time and got the part. I got the part. <laughs> well, okay. So well, the way that came about, they had already cast a crazy Steve. This is before iCarly. Well before iCarly. Well this before. is Drake and Josh. Got it. They had already cast a crazy Steve, and I guess he wasn't crazy enough on the set <laughs> when he went in. <laughs> He it it wasn't as crazy as they wanted. I went in to that audition, and I I'll never forget it because they were like, "Can you go bigger?" And I was like, "Yeah," and I went bigger. And it was you know it's a, I basically start out quiet and then I'm screaming. That's the joke. It's like I'm kind of a normal. He thinks I'm normal, and then I freak out. <laughs> And I remember watching Drake and Josh going, oh, this show's going to be dumb. And it was hilarious. And then you came on and made it even more hilarious. Well, my right. daughters love the show. It was great. It is. I have a, I have another crazy Steve story. But, but let's real, finish this real, one. This one, is, this one is epic, by real the way. Real quickly. Yeah. They were just like, go bigger. I was like, okay, did it bigger. They're like, can you go bigger? I was like, <laughs> yes, I can go bigger. Like, I have been three years of theater school bringing me down, like <laughs> knocking the bigness out of me. I was like, yes, I can go bigger. They're like, can you go bigger? I was like, well, let's just, let's just, let's talk for a second. 
do you want me to just pull out the brakes? <laughs> Completely. Do you want to just like let this go off the rails? Because I'll do that. I'll give you the nuclear. She goes, give me the nuclear. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, here goes. And I went nu- I went nuclear nuts in the room and I got the part. Oh, and then the, the rest is history. Oh, that's hilarious. Flash forward to two weeks ago, Dan Schneider, the showrunner, yep. text me. He's like, people ask me, to get you to do things for them all the time. I never I never say yes. But I'm honored you're a, on the podcast, fr- so thank you. Exactly. <laughs> a friend of his who helped his mom at the end of her life, his, his daughter uh, is like giving a senior speech. Mm. And they're like, they, she's such a huge Crazy Steve fan. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do that. Wait, in front of the senior class? He sends me a Crazy Steve outfit, and I did a video. Oh, cool. I send him the video, and it, this is how cool like social media is now and technology is. Yeah. I do this on my phone, send it to Dan. Yep. It gets – they play it on a screen – at their school, introducing this girl. Like a 100-foot screen. Yeah. Yeah. I do this crazy Steve bit where I'm, like, trying to be normal. But I can't. I'm just public speaking. And I, and I went and I went kind of crazy. And then somebody filmed it and tweeted it. And then I'm sitting there, like, at dinner. And it's just, like, watching. I can see back. this video of me on a screen at a school that wow. I shot in my house. It just blew no, my mind. It no, just no. blew my mind. Technology, it, it's turning our lives upside down. And inside we went in another dimension. I yes, think. we have. I have. We, we, <laughs> a <laughs> dimension made up of blue bricks. And English Made people. from the souls and of Smith. <laughs> Speech bubble. Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.